why she's just not into you. Fixing those mistakes that are ruining your dating life. Here's the thing. When I've been working with people for 15 years, and most of the time when they tell me their problems or they tell me why their relationships failed or why they're failing in dating, I'm like, I wish you would have came to me sooner because these were minor adjustments that if you had just known to make those changes, you could have saved yourself tremendous heartache and a whole lot of pain. So I'm gonna help you avoid all these mistakes and we're gonna do it now. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe, like this video, it will help me out tremendously. Help me help you. And if you come to my channel all the time, babe, I love you, I adore you, and I'm so grateful that you are here. Also, if you're the guy, you're like, listen, make this whole relationship dating stuff painless and easy for me, Erica Angelo, then sign up for my coaching. It is the quickest way to get yourself the results that you want and you need. There can be a million reasons why she's not into you, why she's not digging you anymore. And here's the thing that I see so many people do that all you had to do was just have this one conversation. And this is why you're not doing it. This is why you're avoiding it. You need to sit down and have a conversation with the person. You can feel it. They're backing off. They're not texting you as much. They're not excited to see you. They're busy. There's other plans. Sit them down and ask them, what's going on? I can tell you're calling someone out is sometimes the sexiest thing you can do. I've shared stories about this when my single girl days in LA and when a guy called me out and to this day, I still think it was one of the sexiest things he ever did. Calling a woman out, calling a guy out and be like, what's going on? And not doing it in a harsh way. I'm, I'm communicating very strongly because I'm empowering you to do what you need to do. But when you communicate and be like, listen, I can tell. You're just not, you're not there the way I know you can be. So just tell me what's going on. And I would love to hear if it's something that we can work through or if we just need to part ways. Oh my gosh, this is a damn game changer because you are being the man. You are being the woman in the relationship and saying, listen, I'm not weak. I'm not insecure. I'm paying attention to what go is going on. I know that there's something going on here. So let's just be two damn adults and let's have a conversation and let's talk about it. And what you're not doing, and this is where you really need to pay attention. You're not being the nice guy. You're not being the people pleaser. You're not being the nice girl by saying, tell me what's wrong and I can fix it. No, that is not what you're saying. What you're saying is tell me what's going on so that I can know, we can know if it's something we can fix or if we need to move on because that lets them know that you are not begging for them to stay. It makes you more sexy. It makes you more desirable. It makes you more attractive because you are being the alpha in that situation and not the victim. I promise you, if you have that conversation, whether they were interested or not interested, this will change the game. You're probably not doing it because you're afraid they're going to reject you. But guess what? They are already rejecting you by removing their presence from your life. So save yourself the headache and give yourself some dignity by getting in the driver's seat. In the comment section, tell me if you're going to get in the driver's seat of your dating life. I love you. You have what it takes. And here's another video just for you.